Lost in Tokyo. The boyfriend she did not marry in under two hours, at last, discovered the hotel map in his fist did not correspond with the actual streets. She trailed behind, searching for taxis, directional clues. If most of the cars turn left, that could be the right way. Much like the leaders of the Donner Party, he insisted he was the map reader, the leader of men, the Victorian gentleman, always right, ignoring the Cassandra bleeding of the women. She dropped to the curb, refusing. To his everlasting mortification, a man in a three-piece suit explained the system. The map to street sign method is ineffective in this city. More a suggestion. To save the situation, the soon ex insisted that the hotel was over there, complaining about crazy Japanese the rest of the trip. She tricked him into consuming sea urchin twice, explaining the photos of the sushi posted outside didn't always match the order inside. She took pictures of their dinner, recording the last time they believed each other. True story, lost in Tokyo, um, only it wasn't an ex, it was my still current husband who had a map in his fist and he was coordinating the street signs with the map signs. I was trailing behind with my elderly mother through all these back alleys in Tokyo. And I think that the biggest takeaway was how safe we were in that city. We, it was dark, we were in the wrong place, I, repeatedly the wrong place. And yet I was fine. My mother was feeling very comfortable. I was comfortable. My husband was uncomfortable because we were lost. So finally a gentleman came to him, my husband, and said, this doesn't match. Surprise. And so he says, okay. I said, let's get a taxi. Let's do this. I'm tired. I want to go home. I want to go back to the hotel. And he said, no, 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 no. The hotel is right over there. Really? After all of this, really? Sure enough, two blocks straight ahead, three blocks to the left, and we were back at the hotel. So I have never, ever been able to complain about his directional abilities. And he's time and time again has been right, which is good to have on your, on your team, definitely. But I just, I thought of it as what if you didn't stay married to the person. What if this is a metaphor for how a whole relationship could go? And that's what I wanted to do with this poem, was to talk about how not being able to ask for directions, not being able to listen to each other can change the whole dynamic of a relationship. Not to mention the fact that sometimes the plastic stuff in the front window of your tiny little Japanese restaurant doesn't always correspond with what you get when you order or it seems like it's exactly the same thing you ordered. I once ordered fish in a little, in a soup bowl of udon noodles, and I swear to God, the fish was plastic. So it can go either way. Thanks.